spectrum of emotions. Just not passionately at all anymore. I mean, I remember I was dancing at a Count Tutu show not too long ago. And, uh, yeah, they're a dancing band. Get into it. When this cute chick comes and starts dancing up on me. Like, it wasn't any of that grindy, club-style dance fucking y'all might see out there in the world, you crazy club goers. We kept it classy, but still, ass was on pelvis. It was exciting. And it brought me back, in my mind, back to my high school homecoming dance. Where I would be slow dancing with whichever lucky lady was my date to the ball. And uh, it started out as a normal slow dance. And, and if I remember right, my dick was hard as a rock for most of it. <laughs> and uh, it, was, it was an awkward high school boner, don't get me wrong. Cause like I said, it started as a normal slow dance and I would just slowly kind of quasi-moto my way back. <laughs> Alright, I didn't want it to touch her, cause I'm a gentleman. And also cause I was in high school and I was stupid. I thought if my boner touched a lady, I was going to jail. And that was that. <laughs> Fast forward back to this Count Tutu show. Or this chick is, is, is dancing on me. She had a nice ass, too, you guys. Like, that shit was banging. That's what hip-hop artists call it. And they seem to know their asses, so I'm going to appropriate that term. Her ass was banging, and it was on my pelvis. But alas, my dick was flaccid. Right, soft as a freshly washed and dried puppy. I mean, I guess the moral of the story is I gotta learn how to love again. <laughs> In the meantime, I've taken up different hobbies. Uh, I play a lot of chess. Yeah, who wants to fuck me? <laughs> no, uh, I agree, it's just chess. But I mean, I got into it. Like, I, I started reading books on strategy and tactics. I even went to a torrent website to get a book I couldn't find in the actual store. And in this torrent site search engine block or whatever, I typed in the word chess and up popped an age verification prompt. What's this all about? All I typed in was chess. So I click on it. Turns out the number one hit for chess on torrent websites is a porno called Hardcore Chess. <laughs> Okay, the Pirate Bay, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Alright, I downloaded it. Here's a little play-by-play, -play, so you don't have to watch it yourself. Uh, hardcore chess starts off with a close-up of a chessboard on a floor, and pans out to a guy, and he makes a chess move. Touche. It seems pretty chessy to me. But then it pans back out, and you see our young starlet protagonist, just sitting on a chair. And she takes the pointy end of her stiletto heel and makes as sexy a chess move as can be with that. And this continues for a few moves of, I'm not gonna lie to you, amateur chess player. <laughs> All right, I could have checkmated those bitches in three. I don't know what game they were watching. But eventually she knocks a piece off the board, bends over to pick it up, and they get down to fucking. The end. You guys, come shot, cut cameras, rap. All right, that's all you need, apparently, to make an entire porno themed on the great sport of chess. A few fucking pieces. None of those chess pieces ended up inside of her even once. <laughs> All right, I was offended as a player of the game. And I mean, maybe I'm overreacting, but I've seen SpongeBob porn parodies where the guy wears an entire cardboard suit that just has a hole for his genitalia to plop out of majestically. It looked really hard to maneuver in, but God damn it, he was committed to his craft. <laughs> I'm disappointed, chess porn. I'm disappointed. So I decided it's time for me to throw my hat in the ring. 
and I've developed my own line of corn parries based on Harry Potter. So I'm just going to give you the rundown because I did one for every single book in the series. I don't know if it's going to be like another book that's about fucking or if I'm going to do a video version, but here's what I got so far. Uh, book number one is going to be Harry Potter and the Torturer's Moans because fucking start in the dark. Why not? Woo! Also, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Bone is already a real movie you can find online. So I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes. I'm just trying to elevate the art here. And the second one is going to be Harry Potter and the Bedchamber of Secrets. Yeah, get a little Victorian dress play, some lace and corsets, if you will. And the third one is my personal favorite. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Owl's Cabin. <laughs> yeah. A little homoerotic BDSM up in the hills, if you know what I mean. <laughs> then the fourth one is Harry Potter and the Nut Gobblers for Hire. It's about prostitutes. Yeah. No, I thought about making it Nut Gobblers of Fire. Do a little PSA about chlamydia in the middle. But nobody wants that in their fucking porn parody marathon session. That's no fun. Then the next one is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phallus. It's about orgies. You guys. And there's Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Nubian Prince. Yeah, Mandingo it up. Or not. I mean, it's your body. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. And then the last, the last book was kind of a two-parter, so I did the same thing. There's Harry Potter and the Deathly Swallows, part one, Choking Hazard, <laughs> and part two, Gonorrhea of the Throat, <laughs> unfortunately based on a true story. Oh. I didn't have it! The doctor just accused me of it. That's all. I did think that I had an STD the other day, though. Like, I've never had one before. I thought it just flared up out of nowhere. Like, maybe I got it from a toilet seat. Because I, I had the feeling, like, it felt like I had to pee all day when I didn't. And I had an itch that I just couldn't scratch because it was inside me. Yeah. Why did I sit down to pee? But then that night, I had a dream. It was really weird, like, a bunch of just psychedelic colors enveloped me sensually, <laughs> biblically even, and I woke up because I came in my pants. Yeah, turns out I didn't have an STD, I just needed to bust a nut. <laughs> and the symptoms were severe. <laughs> so my new pickup line is, let's get medicinal, baby. Oh. <laughs> baby! Wow. I don't know. Yeah, that's my new one. Wow. I'm going to sing a song now before I get off the stage. Uh, I have a habit of ruining Disney songs. Woo! And I've got four of them. I don't usually do this here because it's a madhouse, but you know, you guys are chill tonight. I'm going to let you choose which song I do. I'm going to yell out four different Disney movies, and then whichever one you guys respond with most boisterously and quickly is the one that's sing. So, Aladdin, Little Mermaid, Mulan, Pocahontas. Oh my god, you fucking went Pocahontas real quick there, Chris. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Because Pocahontas is real hard for me to sing. But I'm gonna do it! I'm lots of stuff, but the liar is not one. So, there's a song in Pocahontas called Just Around the River Bend. And I rewrote the words to be about fisting. <laughs> You know, family friendly fisting. So, I'm gonna sing it and leave. Enjoy your dough. <laughs> what I hate most about people is to your face they're always nice, but inside their judgment of you's ever growing. But if you have an open mind and promise you'll play dice, well, I'll tell you what really gets my coochie flowing. Put just another finger in. Just another finger in. I look once more. Put just another finger in. I'm not even sore, but that thumb's still flying free.
and here and there my spot of Jesus right behind that third knuckle. I'm trying to ignore all of your fumbling. You'd make a handsome, sturdy husband if you would just heed my call. And then tonight you would finally hear me coming. But just another finger Just another finger in. I look once more, put just another finger in. I'm not even sore, and that thumb's still flying free. I'm not a whore, these are just the times we're living in. Put just another finger in. Should I take the smoothest course? Steady as the beating drum. Should I marry Coco Long? I'm definitely getting sued by Disney now at this point. Cause that's fucking, that's verbatim what's in the movie. I didn't even change that last part. That's how you get sued! Just enough.